Welcome to this video demonstrating a respiratory examination. To begin the examination, we must start with wiper. Wash your hands, introduce yourself to the patient stating your name and role. Ask permission to examine the patient and check if they are in any pain. Expose your patient appropriately and reposition them at 45 degrees. You may now begin with inspection from the end of the bed by asking the patient to take a deep breath. Look around the bed for any paraphernalia of respiratory disease, such as inhalers, oxygen masks or sputum pots. Now start your peripheral inspection with the hands. Look specifically for clubbing, tar staining and respiratory carbon dioxide retention flap. To do this, ask the patient to put their hands up as if they are stopping traffic. You can also check for peripheral cyanosis. Tar staining is staining to the fingers from heavy smoking. Clubbing is a deformity of the fingertips associated with a number of diseases. Peripheral cyanosis is when the hands, fingertips or feet turn blue because they are not getting enough oxygen-rich blood. Moving on to the face, inspect for conjunctival pallor, which is a sign of anemia, and central cyanosis. Also check for signs of Horner's syndrome, for example, a droopy eyelid. Reposition the patient sitting forward. Whilst they are in this sitting position, it is a good opportunity to feel for lymphadenopathy using a systematic approach. Feel for raised or swollen cervical, supraclavicular and axillary lymph nodes. Lymph nodes can be palpated from behind the patient. Start from the chin and work backwards. Inspection of the chest. You are now looking for asymmetry, respiratory distress and scars. Also examine for chest wall deformity, for example barrel chest, pectus excavatum or kyphosis. Examine for use of accessory muscles. Palpate the trachea, warning the patient first as it may be uncomfortable. To do this, place your second and fourth fingers on the heads of the clavicles and your middle finger in between, feeling for a centrally located trachea. Then feel for chest wall expansion. Palpate for tactile vocal fremitus. Place the flat edge of your hand on the chest and ask your patient to say 99. This should be done in a systematic fashion, covering all areas of the chest. Percuss the chest by starting at the clavicles and percuss across the chest, assessing like for like, comparing each side. Auscultate the apices of the lungs by using the bell of the stethoscope. Listen to the rest of the chest in the same places as percussion, using the diaphragm of the stethoscope. Assess vocal resonance in the same areas of the chest, asking the patient to say 99 when the stethoscope is on their chest. Reposition the patient sitting forward Repeat IPA on the back with inspection, palpate for chest inspiration, percuss and auscultate including vocal resonance or tactile vocal fremitus. To finish off the examination, you may also want to ask for the peak expiratory flow rate, oxygen saturations, the respiratory rate and a sputum pot. Thank the patient, explain the examination is over and offered to help them get dressed.